If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. I'm Quindell Evans, and this is the Blue Poet Tree Podcast. That's three words. The word blue, the word poet, the word tree, dot com. Bluepoetry.com. This is the Blue Poetry Podcast. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about organization, plans. You feel me then? So, this is the podcast where we speak about the habits that it takes to create a su- the habits that it takes to create a successful life and also the habits that it takes to overcome and break through a stressful life one more time the blue poetry podcast is where we speak about the habits that it takes to create a successful life and the habits that it takes to overcome and break through a stressful life you feel me so we speak about spiritual spirituality discipline Love, relationships, success, goals, dreams, art, poetry, singing, happiness. Any any of these things, you know, even sometimes you might get a little political, you know, or conscience. So this is the Blue Poetry Podcast. And how we start the podcast, how we're going to start the podcast is we're going to start off with the pledge. Not the Pledge of Allegiance, but this is the pledge. You know, the Pledge of Affirmations is what I'm going to call it. The Pledge of Affirmations. And this is by Abio Dun Oye Wole, the creator and founder of The Last Poets. You know, if you don't know who The Last Poets is, look them up and learn. Education. You feel me, them? Let's go. All right. So the pledge goes, I want to be what I can be. To be proud, healthy and free. I want to say what I know to help my brothers and sisters grow. I want to feel good about me and blame no one for my misery. Cause I'll be strong and turn it around. I want to go up, I'm not going down. I want to do what I can do to make all my dreams come true. Remember my past, the good and bad, how I made it art, even when it was sad. I want to share with Whatever my gift, and when you're feeling low, I give you a lift. I want to live without fear, and know that I'm blessed for being here. Just know that you're blessed for being here. Just know that we're blessed for being here. Just know that we're blessed. All right, so that's the pledge. Memorize that, so we can sing along. You feel me? That's we. That's how we gonna start the the podcast off every time. So today we're talking about organization. And the affirmation for organization is, I organize my goals with concrete plans to complete them, as well as ways to continue to build after I reach them. One more time. I organize my goals with concrete plans to reach them, as well as ways to build after I reach them. One more time. I organize my goals with concrete plans to complete them as well as ways to continue to build after I reach them. You feel me? This is about organization, plans. I like to say, Oh, you gotta know, up is the only way to go. And you're spot on. Because up is the only way to go. Organization is about up, going up only. Two ways to go up when it comes to organization. It's start up and follow up. There's two ways to go when it comes to organization. It's follow up, it's start up, and then it's follow up. Excuse me. So the first thing is start up. Second thing is follow up. That's it. Organization. Go up. So you start up and then you follow up. You start up meaning you get the project started. You follow up, meaning you follow up on the project. You start up, meaning you get your relationship started. You follow up by following up on the relationship. You feel me? You start up by getting the job started. You follow up when you follow up on the job. You know, like, meaning you go over things. You reflect on things. You ask questions. You continue to learn. Organization. Start up and follow up. You feel me? So, we know 
<clears throat> we know how to start something. But not a lot of us know how to follow up on something. A lot of us start up things and never follow up. We start something and then we drop it when we the first sign of trouble, the first sign of hardship, the first sign of struggle, the first sign that something ain't go our way, first sign of, you know, feeling alone, the first sign of feeling this is hard, the first time things get a little difficult or a little offsetting, the follow-up drops. I've been there. I've done so many different projects and never followed up on them, you know? So I know what what that feels like. That's why I'm writing this affirmation. That's why I'm sharing this affirmation with you is because that's a part of myself I want to work on, my follow-up. Also, sometimes a lot of us have ideas and we never start it up. We just talk about it. We never start it up. We don't get on it. We, we, we procrastinate. We feel like we're waiting to the right time, which is never. You know, like, just do. Like, it's always the right time. If you got an idea, it's always the right time. If you got an idea, it's always the wrong time. So just do it. Like, there's no such thing as the right time or everything being the way you want it exactly how, you know. Even when it is, it's not really, you know. Like, there's always something. So, like, just, even if things are the way it is and it's the, you know, even if things are exactly how you want it, how you envision it, how you want it to be in order to start up, a lot of times people still don't start up. When they ducks is lined up, when everything is on point, they still don't start up. Like we, I've been there. So I didn't, I didn't have ideas I've been sleeping on. Literally, when I mean sleeping on, I mean when I go to sleep with, with ideas that I haven't nurtured, that I haven't attended to, that I have procrastinated on, I have bad dreams. When I am productive, I sleep peacefully. So if I'm sleeping, literally, on my ideas, I'm having bad sleep. I don't know about you, but that's what happens to me. I can't sleep without pursuing my dreams, personally. You, I've been, not just coming at you, but I've been there where I was sleeping on my dreams and I was sleeping peacefully. But something's happening right now where there's no such thing as peaceful sleep without pursuing my dreams. And I'm kind of grateful for that because I'm, it, it keeps me on my game. It keeps me on my toes. So, no sleep on your dreams. You feel me? Unless you want bad dreams like me. <laughs> nah, but we got to start up sometimes. Like, we got to not be afraid. I think, we, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's... A lot of times I didn't start up because I was afraid of failing. I was afraid of what people was going to say. I was afraid of, you know, it not being the right time. I was afraid of not having enough to, you know, to keep it up. Sometimes it's money. I don't have enough to keep the project going. I don't, you know, I don't have enough money to fund my project or whatever. A lot of things can hold us back from starting up. But we got to start up. You know, and after you start a follow up. You feel me? Follow up. You feel me? So start up and follow up. Personally, I write my goals down every day. I, I, I literally have a book, and it's just every day I write goals down. What I'm going to do today. You know? And I also write just ideas down, too. Like, ideas that I just think of. You know? Every day I like to write ideas down. You know? Sometimes a really, really new one will come. Sometimes it's old ones that I just want to remind myself that I probably never written down I want to remind myself that it's still an idea so I write my goals and ideas down every day you know and that's a part of being organized and planning concretely you feel me and a lot of times some of the goals I get some days I get all the goals done and some days I didn't get all the goals done you could tell which you can tell which days I'm sleeping good on right <laughs> you can tell which days I'm sleeping peacefully, right? You can tell, you feel me? Because when I don't attend to my goals and ideas, I'm not sleeping right, right? You know, so when I write down things to do and I get it done, those are the most peace. Either way, it's a good day, you know? Like, if I don't get everything done, it's okay. But, you know, I now I know I got to get it done the next day. 
You know, like it's it's written down. Once it's written, to me, it's, it's, it's getting done. You feel me? So, you know, I write my goals on every day. And that's a part of me having concrete plans and getting everything I want done. And I'm learning that the more detailed I get, you know, the more I block things, the more I, like specifically, you know, I might have to block time. Like I have to, from this time to this time, I'm going to do this. From this time to this time, I'm going to do this. When I do things like that on those days, it's really, really productive where I get to have more free time because I already have the time, you know, like I get what I've done in a certain time frame and it works. So like the more detailed I schedule and organize and plan, the more I get done, the more productive I am and even the more free time I have too. So it's not just like working all day. When you plan or organize, you could plan as concrete as you like. You know, and some goals are short term and some are long term goals. You know, a lot of short term goals correlate and have an effect on the long term goals. Like there's certain things that need to be done right now in the short term, you know, in order to build on what I'm going to be working on later on in the long term. So a lot of these goals correlate. And when we begin to plan and set clear goals the follow up is easier because we know what needs to be done now we know what will be need to be done later and we know that it's a role it's you know it's like a snowball effect so like that's what long term planning means like what do I do now to affect the long term you know and I think that goes over a lot of our heads like long term planning really means short term plan a lot <laughs> You know, like, sure, you know, sure, long-term planning really means short-term plan a lot. Like, get if you get things done now in order to prepare for the long-term, that is what long-term planning is, you know? So, you know, like, let's be organized. Like, let's, let's do this, you know? So this is an affirmation to inspire me to stay on top of my game, to stay organized, to stay prepared for today, stay prepared for tomorrow, continue to plan, plan for years to come, you know? So I know that there's some things that I need to work on immediately that affects what I want to work on later. And this is all about growth. This is all about striving to grow, you know? So as long as we plan and grow, as long as we plan, we grow long as we are setting clear goals and being organized, we're, we're growing, you know? Because in life, the growth don't stop. And there's no reason for us to want the growth to stop. Like, why would you want to stop growing? You know, like, why? There's no reason to, like, want to stop growing. Like, that's nonsense to me. Like, the growth don't stop, you know? So the grind don't stop. The planning don't stop. The organizing don't stop. The scheduling don't stop. The growth don't stop in life. Every year, as long as you're alive, you've grown, you know, in some way. Some people grow, you know, in ways that probably hurted them, but we're growing. Some people grow in ways that are beneficial to them, but we're growing. So the growth don't stop, and we shouldn't want it to, you know, unless we're growing in things that's hurting on us. <laughs> we might want to stop growing in, in certain areas that are, you know, building on negativity, building on things that are detrimental to us building on lies and, you know, building, whatever it is, we building on bad habits, you know, some people we're growing in, in negative ways, like we're continuing to build on to habits that are detrimental to our physical, mental, and emotional health, you know, and our spiritual health as well. So that might be one way we, or a few ways that we need to focus on stunting that type of growth. Stop growing in negative ways and focus on positive growth. But either way, you know, like, in life we, we grow, it's inevitable, you know. And it's not a greedy thing to grow, especially when it comes to stuff like financial assets. Like, it's not greedy to say, oh, I want to, you know, start up and then follow up and continue growing my my money. You know, I want to reach, remember the affirmations that I organize my goals with concrete plans to 
complete them, as well as ways to continue to build after I reach them. You say I want to be a millionaire, and then after you say I, after you reach a million dollars, you say I want to be a multi-millionaire. You know, and you get, you know, more millions. So that's not greedy. That's just start up and follow up, and that's natural. It's natural for us to want to grow more and more because it's called winning. You know, if you, if if it's if it's a game, you don't just. I mean, I don't know. Maybe in soccer or hockey, but in other sports where one score is worth more than one point, and you know, mo and you know. On average, like, you know, generally, generally, you know, baseball is like, baseball, soccer, hockey, it might be a 1-0 game. But in sports like, you know, basketball and football, like, after you reach your goal, after you reach your goal, a field goal, or after you reach your goal, a field goal in football too, or a field goal in basketball, or a touchdown in, you know, a field goal in football, a field goal in basketball, or a touchdown in in, in, in football, three-point in basketball, whatever, after you reach a goal, you don't just stop and say, oh, I scored with one. It's like you want to continue to grow your score. You want the score to be as high as you can so that you can win. You know? So if you want to win in life, continue to grow. If you want to win in life, continue completing field goals. Continue reaching goals. That's what I'm realizing personally. So when I say you, I'm talking to me and I'm talking to you so that we can speak to each other and you can remind me and we can stay on top of each other. Because that's what it's about, you know. You know, it's about us working together. You know, like my, the most, the most like reliable people in my life are the ones who I could just contact with and stay in touch with and we can be on top of each other. So, that's a part of starting up and following up in a relationship, you know? The people who you can follow up with in relationships is the is the growth, you know? So, yeah. But the growth don't stop. It's not greedy to grow. But planning and organizing, what, what that is when you plan and organize, is simply acknowledging that you want to grow. Striving to grow. Planning and organizing is striving to grow. It's working on ways to grow. It's reflecting on ways to grow. It's literally reaching to grow. It's like you planning and organizing is you watering your seed. You know? Planning is planting the seed. Organizing is watering the seed. Scheduling is giving it sunlight. And then the actions is the roots being created when you know that's all was a startup the minute the roots are created now everything is started up you got the, got the seed planted you got the watering ready you got the sunlight ready and now you got some actions now the roots is there now you continue you follow up by giving it water at the proper time you follow up by giving it sunlight at the proper time, and you follow up by continuing to to act on this goal, act on this dream, strive and work toward the goal. And then the roots grow into a stump. The roots grow into a tree. The roots grow into branches, and these branches produce leaves, and there's, you know, the, and these it goes on to produce the tree produces fruit or flowers or plants whatever nuts you know berries that is the follow up that's due to the follow up the follow up is going to get us the fruit the plant whatever is going to grow on the tree the start up is going to plant it. So let's follow up. Let's get to these seeds. And after we've reached our goal, we follow up some more 
and plant another tree and plant another tree because we want to win. We want to win. We want to win. We want to eat. We want to continue to grow. So we're going to plant another tree. We want our farm to grow. And we're going to buy more acres. We want our garden to grow. You know? So we're going to plant another tree. We're going to plant a flower. We're going to plant a, we're going to plant a bed over here. We're going to plant... We're going to Start a greenhouse right here. We're going to grow. You know, so that's what organizing and planning allows us to do. It allows us to realize how much we can grow. When I write down my growth every day, I realize how much I can do. I realize how capable I am. I realize how much ability I have. I realize how powerful I am. I realize how much opportunity I have. You know, a lot of us don't realize it because we have haven't put it out. We haven't just laid it out, laid out our possibilities. We're writing ideas down, writing goals down, writing a to-do list down. We're literally, we're literally like laying out all our possibilities, all our opportunities, you know? We're literally showing ourselves all the things we can do. And we need that. We need to realize that we can always be able to do. We can always be able to grow. We can always be able to strive for something. So let's plan. Let's organize. Let's schedule. Let's reach goals. And after we reach them, let's follow up and continue to grow over and over again. The growth don't stop. Growth don't stop. But the flip side. Of course, things don't always go as we plan. Of course, things don't always look how we want it to look. Of course, things don't always go our way. But what planning, organizing, and scheduling teaches us is more important sometimes, or a lot, is more important than reaching the goal itself. You feel me? What planning and organizing and scheduling and then acting on it too. You know, don't miss out the don't miss out just on writing things down and not getting things done and it's cool. Like that's not what planning and organizing means. Get taking action is the key. You feel me? So I'm kinda not saying that, but that's what I really you know, maybe I haven't said that enough. But that's in parentheses every time I say planning and organizing. <laughs> You know, like that's the underline. That's the thing which makes the plan and organizing real. Just right. I don't write my goals down every day and don't do nothing. <laughs> you know, like I'm not just, hey, I'm going to do this. And I'm not like I'm doing it, you know. And so let's do. But things may not always go as we planned. Things may not always go our way. Things may not always look how we want it to look. But what acting on what we plan and schedule and organize teaches us is simply the habit of growth, the habit of how to grow, the habit of always striving to grow, the habit of always striving to achieve a goal. And that is very important. These habits, the habits, this is the Blue Poetry Podcast. We speak the habits that it takes to create a successful life and the habits that it takes to overcome and break through a stressful life. So the habit of planning, organizing, scheduling, and then striving to reach these things that we plan to reach teaches us how to grow, teaches us how to strive for growth. And that is more important than the goal itself, the habit of it. You know, it's like they say, Instead of giving the man some fish or teach him how to fish, it's the habit of knowing how to fish, which will always, which will always allow you to have the opportunity, which will always allow you to have the possibility of having fish. The opportunity to have fish is always there now, personally, not because you know homie down the street got fish, it's because you know how to fish. 
and you know that where the fish are. <laughs> I know where the fish are, and I know how to fish. I know habit. So if I know how, if I make, if I get into the habit of fishing, you know, in an organized manner, man, I'm gonna fish once a week. I'm gonna fish twice a week, or I'm gonna fish once a month. Or I'm gonna fish, whatever it is. That habit is more valuable than knowing who fishes and you know me, nah, that's relative but knowing that someone can give you fish you know knowing who fishes might be valuable as well because you can learn how to fish from them but the habit of fishing and putting your knowledge of fishing to use is more important than knowing that someone fishes and they can give you fish you know so the habit of striving to to achieve goals that you plan to organize and schedule is very important because it teaches you how to grow and the growing don't stop and it should never stop we should grow until the day we die and it's just as simple you know we should learn all we should always be learning you know What's his name? Dwayne Johnson. They, you know, also known as The Rock. He organized and planned throughout his childhood life to be a football player. And of course, that ain't work out. Because you don't know The Rock is a football player. Unless you probably his friend or went to school with him and I don't know, maybe somehow knew about him during his early years. But the majority of us know The Rock or Dwayne Johnson as a wrestler. The majority of us. He's also a phenomenal actor. Many of us know him from from some of these from his good movies. But the majority of us know The Rock from being a wrestler. You know, so even though he organized and prepared his entire childhood life to be a football player. That didn't work out for him. It didn't go as planned. He didn't get to see his vision come true. But I bet striving to become a football player taught him a lot about how to work for something. Taught him a lot about how to strive for goals. Taught him a lot about how to be organized and plan. You know? Because you gain skills along the way of growing. I think The Rock described the the um the heartbreak of not being able to play professional football you know as one of the best dreams that never came true you know or you know as the best thing that never happened or something like that and that's ironic you know because i'm sure he wanted really bad to become a football player but the reason he described it as that is because look at the opportunities galore that came after being cut from whatever team he was cut from. After failing at becoming a football player, he became the rock. You know, he became one of the most phenomenal wrestlers in WWE history. Like one of the most well-known wrestlers, you know, one of the most characteristic ones out there. And that's because sometimes plans don't go according to the way you envision them. And it's okay because you learn the skills. You know, it's like the millionaire who goes bankrupt and then gets their money back double. It's because they learn how to get it. You know, if they, if they, you know, if they got it. The millionaire who earned a million, lost it, and then earned it again. You know, if you earned it, you were teaching yourself how to earn it so you know how so if you ever lose it you can just start up and follow up again you know so the act of planning and organizing is very important because it teaches us things that not act not planning and organizing doesn't not planning and organizing may teach us how to procrastinate it may teach us how to sleep on ourselves sleep on our dreams and we don't want to build on those habits so we organize and plan to gain the skills that striving to complete the goals that's, that we want to reach, help, you know, it, it, we organize and plan to gain the skills that striving to complete goals help us reach, you know, so you want to reach something, 
You want to reach a goal? Plan and organize. You know? That's what I'm learning. This is an affirmation so that I can focus on planning and organizing more because I know that the days that I get everything that I planned and organized done is the best days. I sleep the best. You know, for example, I like to read every day. But sometimes I read books in random order, you know, for now. But the skill I'm learning is daily reading. And as I master that skill, I'm hoping that it will become easier for me to plan what books I want to read, you know. So, it, I mean, I could start now. I could start by planning the next three books I'm going to I'm 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 read. Well, I know, usually I know what book I'm going to read next. You know, I know I'm reading this and I'm going to read this next. Usually, most of the time. But sometimes it's like I'm reading something and I don't know what I'm going to read next. Um, But it'll be much more efficient for me to plan three books in a row. Like I know I'm reading this, I'm reading this, I'm reading this. You know? And then after I start that up, I start reading the first book, and I follow up by actually reading the second book and not being spur the moment, okay, I'll read something else. You know? If I actually follow up and read what I was actually planning and then read the third, then I can do it again. Follow up. After I reach my goal, I follow up and reach another one. So now... I plan the next three books I'm going to read again. Or maybe even plan the next four books because I know how to do three now. And I have to plan the next four. You know, so that's what it means, you know. So, like, we got to, it goes from the big things to the little things, from reading to becoming a millionaire to building on your relationship with your partner to building on your relationship with your family to building on your relationship with yourself, self-discipline. You know, disciplining yourself so that you can, Strive for your goals. Discipline yourself so that you can be the best you can be. You know, whatever it is, you know. So let's remember this. Start up, follow up. Planning and scheduling and organizing is striving to grow, is reflecting on ways to grow, is growing. Planning and organizing is growth, equals growth, leads to growth. As long as you act on your plans and goals. Don't just leave them as ideas in your mind. Don't just leave them as ideas on the paper. Act on it, you grow. And if things don't go according to how you plan, you still learn how to plan. You still learn these skills that can allow you to redefine and reconfigure your plans. You'll learn, you know, and that's what I'm learning, you know. The reason I'm here right now doing this is because I planned it, you know, it's in my plans. I wrote this down today, so I'm here today with you, striving to grow. If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. You feel me, them? I'm Quindell Evans. This is the Blue Poet Tree Podcast, where we speak about the habits that it takes to create a successful life. And the habits that it takes to overcome and break through a stressful life. BluePoetry.com Let's go!